Sigma Sycamores to English 305. I'm Professor Hughes and I'll be your instructor this semester. I'm on the beautiful campus of Indiana State. I just wanted you to get a glimpse of the strong tradition that you are a part of. This building behind me, that's Streiser Hall, that's my office where I work as an instructional designer. That means that I help design online and face-to-face -face courses in addition to my role as a writing instructor. Honestly, I love my job and I'm proud to be a Sycamore and you should be too. Before you get started this semester, it's critical that you have a good understanding of the structure of the course. So let's take a look. You'll notice that the course is organized around a central core of buttons designed to help you navigate the course content easily and efficiently. In Start Here, you'll find the course announcements, links to the most current learning modules, Blackboard and technology resources, and Indiana State Student and Academic Support Services for online students. You should spend a great deal of time in the course documents area, which stores the course syllabus, schedule, research and writing resources, and a link to the FAQ. Because I'm an instructional designer as well as an English instructor, I try to generate course content that is not only meaningful, but also useful for a multitude of learning styles. You'll get your first taste of this with the course syllabus, which is available as a PDF, an interactive module, or an infographic. The PDF and interactive module are identical in content, but their functions are unique. The PDF is great for printing and whole document viewing, while the interactive module provides a table of contents with quick links to specific areas in the syllabus. As a student, I especially find the link to the grades section helpful. The syllabus infographic summarizes the most essential elements of the syllabus to a condensed, more easily consumed version. It's great for a quick reference, but you are still responsible for knowing the course expectations as defined within the full syllabus. The course schedule indicates the focus for each module as well as the specific due dates for all class assignments. It's a great tool if you'd like to plan ahead. In the Research and Writing Resources folder, you'll find vital resources for crafting emails, using library resources, locating, evaluating, integrating, and documenting sources, avoiding plagiarism, and submitting and viewing assignments. You are especially encouraged to check out the MLA and APA formatting and citation guides, the primary styles used within this course. The FAQ, which is also available in the Discussion Boards button, is the first place you should look if you have questions about the course. If you cannot find an answer after searching the Discussion Board, Syllabus, and other course documents, feel free to post an inquiry here. It's very likely some of your classmates have the same question. The home page is automated by Blackboard and can provide links to announcements, new items within the course, and upcoming assignments. However, you should always rely on your course schedule for an up-to-date outline of due dates, as the home page may point to older due dates from previous semesters, for example. The Learning Modules button will be the primary place you spend your time in the course and is a sort of one-stop shop for your course content, activities, and assessments. Each folder description identifies the dates of the modules as well as provides a brief introduction to its focus. Inside each folder, you'll see a detailed agenda outlining the goals of the module as well as the tasks that need to be completed and in what order they should be completed. All reading assignments for that module will be linked within the module reading folder, while all activities and assessments will be housed in the module assignments folder. Discussion boards will be linked within the module assignments folder, but they'll also appear in the discussion boards button for quick access. The tools button provides links to all the Blackboard tools used in the course. It also includes links to the class roster and an email tool. Just remember, all activities and assignments will be linked within each learning module folder, so they are easier to locate. The ISU Library button will direct you to the Cunningham Memorial Library's website, which you will use frequently throughout this course. You will find the Chat With Us feature especially helpful, as it connects you with an online librarian who can help you with your document needs. The Search All feature is also useful in finding scholarly, relevant sources. You will learn more about this later in the course. Finally, although you are required to use the Math and Writing Center only once this semester, you are encouraged to take advantage of the Math and Writing Center throughout the course, as they can help you with all stages of the writing process. 
The Blackboard Tech Support button provides access to numerous tutorials specific to Indiana State's Blackboard. You can search within the topics or you can try the search engine. I will also provide links to relevant tutorials with each posted assignment. You can navigate to Grades Feedback to locate your scores on each task as well as detailed comments designed to help you build your writing skills. How you access the feedback depends on the type of assignment it is. Look for tutorials in the Writing and Research Resources folder or within your specific assignments for details on how to access your instructor's written feedback. That should give you a decent overview of the structure and organization of this course. Now check out the Module 1 agenda in the Learning Modules folder for your next steps. Remember, if you have any questions, post to the FAQ.